Hello and welcome to Craftworks by G where we do everything and anything and hope to inspire. So today we will be building a truck rack. So bear with me guys, it's going to be pretty long this video, but what you'll get out of it is a strong and cheap truck rack. So let's go. <music> Before we get into the goodness here, if you like what you're watching, please like and subscribe and share the love. We can inspire people to try new things and not be afraid to. So leave a comment on how I did or what I can improve on on this build or what we should do next. Now it's time for the goods. This truck rack is made from Unistrut, which you see me measuring and soon cutting. I am using an angle grinder here. Now, if you don't have an angle grinder to cut the Unistrut, a hacksaw will do just fine. It'll just take much longer. But don't let that discourage you. If you want it, you're gonna get it. After cutting, you're going to want to file down the edges where you made the cuts. Materials. All of these materials I bought from Lowe's or you could buy them from Home Depot or, or whatever hardware store. So if something breaks, it's easy to replace. I lied these truck bed clamps I got from Amazon. Everything else will be from a hardware store. So I'm not gonna lie here or keep this hidden. When I was first buying the materials for this build, I overbought some stuff, but Hey, I'll make the mistakes so you don't have to. At the end of this material segment, there will be a price breakdown for each item. And you also got to take into account that these are 2021 20, prices. And we all know that lumber and steel have increased a lot. <laughs> Now it's time for the dry fit. Is this step necessary? No, but I like dry fitting my builds just to make sure that the design is sound and gives me time to find out different ways to make the process better than what I have originally thought of. Don't worry, I will go through all the steps that I did during the final assembly portion. The dry fit is now complete and hey, I found a way to make it a better design. So first off, I wanted to make a crossbar right there. And these 
single hole washers. No, no. I'm gonna replace those with more 90 degree brackets. Now the material list that was shown earlier is the complete material list including with the crossbar and uh, extra items that I got. I chose to spray paint it black because it matches my truck and I am going to be using two coats. <laughs> Now that the paint is dry, it's time for the final assembly. Let's go! Alright, so now here I'm just aligning the bed rail unistrap. Attach the truck bed clamp. Alright, you do not want to tighten this all the way yet, you're, we're, you're gonna be doing a lot of finagling. Alright, this step is important if you want to save time. You're gonna want to put that cone nut in first before attaching the truck bed clamp. And I'm just screwing this bolt in there just as a placement holder so I don't lose it. Yeah. This right here is the one inch bolt, the cone nut, the washer, and a lock washer. Take this four hole bracket and put it in on the farthest side hole. Like it doesn't matter which one, whichever side looks best. Take one of the leg supports and you're going to want to put the same set of bolt, lock washer, washer, and cone nut into that leg support. Put that bolt onto the other far side hole of that four hole bracket. Now what's cool with these cone nuts is that you can actually slide them along the uni strut. Right here, I am setting up the leg support where I want it. Now on my right hand, I am putting through the 3 inch bolt with a washer on the other side. And then with my left hand, I put in that 2 hole bracket. And then that's a washer and that is the nylon nut. Now again, do not tighten it all the way. You're gonna be finagling it still. And repeat that for the other side. And now we can start placement of that crossbar. Make sure you do not hit your glass. I did not hit the glass, but it's going to be very near that glass. So to attach that crossbar to the leg portion, put that cone nut into the crossbar first. Loosen that nut right there with the two hole bracket. Now you're going to put that 90 degree elbow bracket right there right on top of that two hole bracket
Okay, so adjust that tone nut and uh, that L bracket, 90 degree bracket, whatever you may call it, and put the washer and a locker washer and that one inch bolt. Now make sure that other bolt is not tightened down all the way, otherwise you cannot tighten the crossbar bolt. So the crossbar and the legs for the front side is done. Now we're doing the back side. Pretty much the same thing, just for the back side. The two hole bracket is the one that's going to be near the truck bed clamp for the rear. The foundation of the rack is now complete, so that was pretty easy, right? So, the L bracket, the 3 inch bolt with a lock washer, washer, another L bracket, another washer, and the nylon nut goes to the very top hole of the leg support. <laughs> Now it's time to put that top bar in place. Now be careful to balance it so it doesn't fall on your truck. I actually use my woodworking clamps to hold it in. And right here I'm using that square washer, washer at the top, and it's going in the inside L bracket and then there's another washer and that Nala nut goes to the bottom and you're going to repeat that for the other three legs all right so here comes the big boy this is that eight foot uni strut You're gonna wanna balance it at the very last edge, aligning to the outside L bracket. Now here, you see I got the bolt, the washer, and then another washer, and an nylon nut. So this is how it looks. Don't worry, I'll show you how to tighten that. So this wrench right here fits right there, all good, good. So you just tighten it up like that. Have a counter torque and repeat for the other side. Right here is a cone, lock washer, washer, and a cone nut 
and I use a two hollow bracket because I have future plans for this rack maybe making an awning or something like that now don't worry I'll show you a close-up of how it looks later on well not later so oh here it is right here not later at all and that's how it looks all right so that's it for the truck rack build so let's get ready for b-roll and a test Test. All right, I was I was really tired here, so I couldn't do a full rep of a front lever. Oh, that's so ugly. But yeah, you can see the the strength, very strong. Yeah, there it is, strong and cheap. Thank you for watching, and remember, it's never too late to learn and create. Peace!